Hey. Is this the last day of vacation? No, because it's a Saturday today. Yeah. So yesterday was the last day of vacation. Last day of vacation, yeah. So today, I guess, tomorrow is not going to be no vacation, even no. though it's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to celebrate our last day of vacation. Yeah. And cheers. Cheers. Mine's not open. That's why I could tilt it. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. See ya. We have a new hey. haircut, Randy. <laughs> I styled it a little bit, but it's so short on the top, it's hard to style, but <laughs> looking good. Yeah. Wow. Do you see these leaves flying around? It's really windy, and I think it's about to rain. We were going to have a drive-in service at our church this evening, but we decided to postpone it until next week, and I think that was the right call to make. All right, I just made a cabbage roll casserole. Why a casserole? Because cabbage rolls take forever to make and I've never made them and I probably never will. But in a casserole, you just chop everything up. So it's been cooking for an hour and a half, approximately. It smells amazing in here. I'm just gonna let that cool off and it'll be supper. We've got a Randy working out after his first day at work. Well, first day back in person at work. You yeah. survived! I survived. <laughs> and we have some muffins, zucchini muffins, cooling off. All right, we got some homemade chicken nuggets. And fries are coming. Guys, look at all this fog. It looks like snow. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not snow. It's like all clear here, but over there it's all foggy still. Would you believe that this is a store-bought pizza? Well, if it's as good as it looks, it's gonna be great. Good morning, guys. I have a question for you. Have you ever eaten an eyeball? <laughs> That's not an eyeball. It's a white radish. It's the first time I see this. Okay, so there were like purple radishes, or purple and white, in the same bag. There were red ones, obviously, and this one is completely white and it looks like an eyeball. So I'm just gonna remove the little ends there and see if it tastes like a normal radish or if it tastes like an eyeball. Mmm, tastes just like a regular radish, yeah. And crunchy as a radish. <laughs> hey guys, I just got back from Costco and from a grocery pickup at Walmart. And I am really excited about one of the things I got at Costco. It was $12.99 for these four bottles of 10 milliliter each of mixes of essential oils. So I'm gonna open them now, sniff them, and tell you what I think about them. Okay, first one is spring. I don't remember exactly what's all in here. I know there's lime and basil. I think um, grapefruit, I'm not sure. Oh yeah. This is gonna make the apartment smell really spring-like. It, do it does smell like spring. Hmm, okay. Summer. Let's see what summer smells like in the world of essential oils. <laughs> There's probably citrus in here. Or... It doesn't smell as good because, yes, the citrus smells good, but there's something else mixed in there that makes it smell weird. But we'll see in the diffuser, it usually smells a bit different. Okay. 
fall. I'm excited about the fall one. Oh, this is relaxing. <laughs> smells so good. Oh, there's definitely some orange in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> smells good. And winter has more like of a fur scent, I'm guessing. Ooh. Oh, there's cinnamon. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. I think that's my favorite. The orange one. So I guess fall and winter. <laughs> Winter is not my favorite season, <laughs> but it's my favorite scent of all of them, I think. So, I'm really excited to try those. Alright, it was time to clean the grocery bags, so they're all drying in the sun. These are my PJs. This is the butt. So the reason why I'm not buying new ones is because in the stores we are not allowed to try on the clothes. So, I mean, maybe certain stores we can, but... I'm talking about the affordable ones here, like Walmart. We're not allowed to try on the clothes. So, I have these workout sweatpants that... I guess I bought those when I used to work out at the gym. But now that I don't work out at the gym anymore, these ones could, like, they're comfortable um, for sleeping. The material, I mean. The only thing is that they have elastics around the ankles. And that's not so comfortable <laughs> for sleeping. So I'm gonna go in and remove the elastics. Now working on these jeans, which on the back have a little bit of a hole at the top and make them a little bit um, smaller because I've lost some weight and I'm losing my pants. Hey guys, the Randy is back home and he survived his first week back in person at work. Mm -hmm. And we're both exhausted. It was a good week, but... Waking up at 5 a.m. really takes a toll on us. <laughs> yeah, so now we're having Costco chocolates for dessert because they were back in stock! Yay. I've been trying to get them for the last two months, I think. Those chocolates. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully they will revive us a little bit mm. because it's uh, 6.41 and we're ready for bed. It's Friday night. Yep. I gotta last a little longer. Anyway, I have one chocolate here and the other two are warming up in my armpits, so. <laughs> See you guys later. Yo, we were here when we last vlogged, except it was still daylight. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> it's bedtime. We just had our snack and we listened to a podcast by John Piper. Yeah. It's called Ask Pastor John. And we like to listen to that when we have our snack in the evening. Because they're about like 11 or 12 minutes each. So Around there, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's people sending in questions and he answers them. It's, it's very interesting questions and obviously very interesting answers based on the Bible. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, it's called Ask Pastor John. But we're going to wrap it up here. Yep. And see you guys next week. And until then, remember to laugh hard and to love much. Weep. <laughs>